Woke capitalism takes a hit. For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street with The Point. Procter & Gamble recently announced an $8 billion loss on shaving company Gillette. According to Reuters, men just don't shave as often as they used to, and the technology has changed. But new startup companies like Harry's and Unilever increased their share of the U.S. razor market, while Gillette's shrank. Might be that Gillette's recently politically charged ad campaigns had something to do with this. The first campaign targeted toxic masculinity, basically painting men, you know, the ones who use Gillette razors, as brutish juvenile thugs. The campaign was a flop. And then Gillette decided it'd be a good idea for Father's Day to show a man helping his transitioning biological daughter learn how to shave as if she were his son. LGBTQ advocates are always pressuring companies and their CEOs to promote their cause. It might be, as Gillette's enormous losses show, that those who value biological reality just aren't ready to go along with all of this wokeness. I'm John Stone Street.